Them's his turkeys, people. Big old turkeys. Can't get no closer than that. They're all the way on the other side of the field. Let me zoom out and show you where they really are. Wow. I'm hiding behind his mailbox, so... Oh, there goes one running. <laughs> it seen me when I stood up. Look at it running. See if I can zoom in on it running. <laughs> it's running for the field. They said, I seen him, I seen him, he's standing there. He stopped. <laughs> All right. That's enough of me harassing the turkeys for this morning. Well, ain't them flowers pretty? When I first came by here, they were closed. But they're facing the rising sun. Right, sun rises this way. And there's they're some still closed, but they're opening up. A time lapse of that would look really cool. But I haven't made any time lapses in a long time. I'm on my way to do lap two. Yes, I'm on my bicycle. And I've got to get my ass out of the road. But um, I want to say something about this volcano over in Hawaii. I've looked it up. I've seen it. I did my research. Yes, there is a fracking operation right next to it. Within X number of miles. I'll insert some information about the fracking operation and possibly who owns it and some nefarious intentions for something drastic to happen. Now ExoPolitics reports. Evidence has emerged that the increasing number of volcanic eruptions in Kilauea in Hawaii, again, coupled with swarms of earthquakes are being artificially induced by the fracking in the area, in the exact area. And they say that it could trigger a huge tsunami. The area is the Puma, the Puna, P-U-N-A, the Puna Geothermal Power Station. It's owned and operated by the Rothschilds family. It has been aggressively fracking this same region affected by the recent earthquakes and volcanic activity of Kilauea. This is what ExoPolitics reports. The company is financing, uh, is financially connected with the Rothschild family. The, there is a shelf on that side of the island of Hawaii that has broke off in the past and the uh, record of it is left in California and Baja and it's, it, it just wiped it out and the geological evidence shows that it's happened more than once. It's happened, you know, over a million years, it's happened a lot, several times. Let's just say, I don't know the exact number right now, but I'll, with the insertions, you may be able to tell exactly what is is the truth about how many times.
But um, what I'm saying is, is that when you look at the evidence and you actually do your own research, you might be like me. Why in the hell would you put a fracking geothermal place right next to a damn volcano that you could interfere with or could actually cause to not just have an eruption but have an eruption of a of a millennium in other words get ready to evacuate california if this shelf keeps building and building it will break off and when it breaks off the tidal wave will be hundreds of feet and will move at 500 miles an hour from from the, the point of view of a disaster that's a disaster just waiting to happen. There's no, well, once you, they fracked the Gulf of Mexico. That, you remember the oil spill? That was because of a fracking operation and deep, deep drilling. Well, this, this thing they're doing was the, to, their cover was geothermal energy to, you know, to provide uh, sustainable energy. But other than that, you keep having these accidents that set earth back you know earth cleaned itself in the gulf of mexico it did change a lot of things i will i will admit that the gulf stream uh, uh even the winters in um europe are colder because of that oil spill in the gulf of mexico and it will last for quite a few more years from what i heard but that's what i'm saying is we got to think for ourselves do our own research and when you hear a particular story on the internet unless you look it up it's it's not it's not going to serve you in any way but there is a lot of bull crap out there and uh boy i tell you what the mainstream news is is being busted out for being so biased and racist even just just to point out you know the hypocrisy it's people that are waking up are seeing right through it and understanding that it is it's constructed it's purposed it's meant to hit some type of nerve with groups of people and it takes your mind off of the true story the true news that we need to come together on but that's that's what the deep state and the, the cabal and the illuminati that's what they want to keep us from knowing is that we're creating the reality that we see on this planet with our collective minds even even the best of our awakened people are still connected to the collective in subconscious ways that it's still bleeding energy over into this timeline. It's not enough of us that's awake to actually shift the collective mind consciousness. But it's getting there. It's, it's like a slow train wreck. It's taken forever. A lot of people thought it was going to happen 2012, and it didn't. A lot happened in 2008, and a lot happened in 2012. And a lot happened yesterday. But we're waiting to see the ultimate outcome. We have to do what we can do for our, our own creation and our own subconscious creating. It's like, a, it's like a tidal wave. You can wake up and come into stillness, but you're going to be hit with a tidal wave of your subconscious thinking that has been in existence for decades and that has power so when it hits a person seeking to find bliss it it disrupts their circuitry but that's the kind of tidal wave that's actually coming down on humanity as a collective tidal wave that's probably millennium decades decades yeah thousands thousand years and maybe two thousand years in the making of unconscious creating it's out there and it's it's like that tidal wave that possibly could hit california
I heard something that said if you see it in the spirit, it it's in reality too. Yeah. <laughs> That's a deep subject and we don't want to go there. But all right. Thanks you thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you would, would you hit the like button? <laughs> I, and and watch my other videos. They're they're right there. Click click them when you see them right there. Click that that yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Hit the bell. Do all that good stuff. Hey, and uh, the ones of you that like to leave comments, leave comments. Thank you.